Hi and welcome students. In this Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open and close your applications. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have a Windows 10 desktop. On the actual desktop area, I don't like to keep too many applications. I actually keep my applications down here in my taskbar area. Now, anytime an application is open, you'll notice that there's a little line below the application. It's light blue. You can see that currently I have three applications open, File Explorer, uh, Firefox and OBS. Okay, so those are the three applications that I have open, and I could tell that just from looking at the taskbar. To open any application inside of Windows 10, you first have to make sure that you have the application on your computer, but there are a couple ways to do it. For instance, if I wanted to go over here and open up Word, all I have to do is hover over Word and click once, and it's going to open up Word. So if I click that, it opens up. That's great. Now, what happens if I don't have Word down here in my taskbar? Well, another way to check and open applications is to press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type in Word. Okay, now a lot of people think that you need to click on a search button down here or click Cortana. You actually don't need to do that at all. All you need to do is just hit the Windows key and start to type. Okay, so you'll notice I don't even have those options down there. I got rid of them because, again, all I have to do is hit the Windows key and type. And now when I open up Word, you'll see here it opens up. I'll open up a new document. And so now I have Word open. Now there's one other way that you could tell if an application is open and currently active. The way that Windows works is you can only have one active application at a time. So for instance, I have four applications open. As I explained down here, you can see them all with the underline right below it. But also, I have one active application. And the one that you can tell is active is this shaded one right here which is Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word is my active window. That's how we open it up. To close any application inside of Windows 10, there's a few ways to do it. I could go down here to the Word icon, right click on it and go to close window, or I could go right up here and what I use most of the time, I just click this X and that's going to close the application. You'll notice that down here in the taskbar, it's no longer um, it has the it no longer has the line below it indicating that it is indeed open. Now let's say that I want to find a specific document. Okay, I want to find this document right here at a page border, but for some reason I didn't see it on my desktop or I forgot where I saved it. One of the best features to find your files and to open up your applications is to rather than going to Microsoft Word and click open and try to find this file. I could actually just type in the name of this file into the search, which I mentioned before. So again, we hit the Windows key, and if I want to find any program or any file, all I have to do is begin to type that file name, which again is add a page border. So if I hit the Windows key and I type in add a page border, you'll see it right there. There's add a page border, okay? And so again, one more time, I type it in, add a page border right there. I click on that and it's going to open up that file right there. So that is a quick and easy way to open up any file or any application on Windows 10. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how to not only open and close applications, but also search for your files or search for folders using one Windows 10 with or without Cortana, just using the Windows key and immediately typing. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.